Hello, Jackie Bailey here from the Speak, Feed, Lead Project. This is day five of hashtag freedom from silence. I just finished a workout and I'm going to be heading home here. I hear what you're thinking. Wait a second, where are you working out? Aren't all the gyms in Washington still shut down because of the pandemic? Where are you working out? Well, the answer to that is I have a private trainer a personal trainer and he has a private studio and therefore I have been working out during this pandemic. You see, I have fibromyalgia, which is a chronic muscle, chronic uh, tissue disease, syndrome condition, I don't know exactly what it is, but I have chronic pain if I don't exercise. Now I still have pain with exercise, but it is much more manageable when I keep my muscles in tone and exercise every day. And therefore, it has been <clears throat> essential for me to continue exercising through this pandemic. And I'm very thankful to have a personal trainer that's, that's done that for me. And on this day of hashtag freedom from silence, I wanted to compare that a little bit to what it's like as a child living in an abusive home that needs certain exercise every day to maintain a level of health. And, and I don't necessarily mean they need to be lifting weights and doing cardio. What I mean is that they need heart-centered health. They need mind-centered health. They need emotion-centered health. And when you are, when you are denied freedom to play, freedom to be loved, freedom to feel secure, freedom to feel self-valued and self-confidence and of worth, then you aren't healthy mentally, emotionally, and many times physically, especially if you're being physically abused. You are bruised all the time. You are possibly literally broken. And these children have no one to help, especially during this pandemic. It is so tragic, the number of children that don't have an escape. They are home without school, without activities. They are stuck at home in this pandemic with perhaps parents or other family members who are abusive and they have no escape. They are not free. And it is so important to give these children the freedom to speak to freedom to sh the freedom to share what they love, who they are, and what brings them joy. And that's why we have this movement. Hashtag freedom from silence. We want to provide all children from abusive homes, from homes where addiction reigns, where they have social anxieties, where they depend too much on social media for their self-confidence and self-worth if they are poverty ridden and are likely in high crime areas and will probably commit crimes themselves just to survive. These are the children that we wanna reach through the Speak, Feed, Lead project. And that's what hashtag freedom from silence is all about. We're here to give children a voice. Please join us in our movement. Check out speakfeedlead.org and we'll see you on another day. Bye.